All right, that's pretty much it for all of the privacy settings that we've gone over, but I did want to show you that if you go to your profile, you can exercise some of the control over your, your privacy there too. For example, here's a post that I wrote. I already know who I want to see that, but I can change who can see this from here if I want to. I can also change for things like this for Spotify. I can click that X, but instead of just removing it, I can say hide these actions from my profile. When you do that, it also hides them from the newsfeed. I have things like when I post to certain uh, groups, I have that information hidden because I don't want it showing up on my profile because I don't want everybody to know where I'm getting all my cool information from. Things like that. So you can control some of these things on a case-by-case -case basis. And also, if you go to the home page, I showed you this before, but I just want you to see it again. You can block an entire application, those kind of things. Okay, so here's one from Foursquare. This is a really good example. If I want to, I can hide all of the updates from Foursquare without actually uninstalling or blocking the application. So I can do this on an incoming and an outgoing, outgoing basis. So there's privacy blocking and there's also the ability to attack to, to block the activity from the other side.